Holly Holm. How damn good is she? She has been a number one contender. She has been a co-main event, a main event, five round title fights, a world champion. Every day of her life, dating back to how long has it been? How 2015? 2014? Every single day over multiple weight classes. Very similar to Frank Yeager, quite frankly. Where on any given day, you could throw her into a world title fight in different weight classes and nobody could nobody could complain. Nobody could say that's the wrong choice. So it it's a very interesting fight though with Amanda. Amanda who is the number 1 female fighter in the world, the number 1 female fighter in the history of the world. Still is a human being that wants to go out with a certain set of skills and fight a fight a certain way. It would seem that she's going to get some major pushback and have to burn some real calories here when she's taking on a 17-time world boxing, kickboxing champion. It would say, I've lost track, by the way, before any of you fact check. Isn't it like 17? What is it, 14? Is it 15? I mean, Holly Holmes won more damn championships. Uh, she's brought down more people than smallpox. It's incredible. But when you're standing up with her, it's a big problem. And I've only seen Holly one time that I could be critical of in her stand-up, and it was the cyborg fight. And the only thing that I have to be critical of as a guy sitting back and enjoying this fantastic contest, was her range. She was, Holly was just, she, she was an inch out of range. She was a half inch out of range at all times. I think that was because she respected the power of Cyborg. I don't think it was because she had a hard time finding her distance. I think she chose to be back just a little bit. I think. Now, the reason I bring that up is because if I'm right in that hypothesis, I, and then she may do that same thing with Amanda. Amanda's got that same great power like Cyborg had. But it would seem that this fight is going to take place on their feet. And, you know, when you look at the stance, you look at that left high kick of Holly. I mean, Holly's got a way to go. Someone's not going to just come over and steamroll Holly, right? She's in great shape. She moves a lot. She's got good head movement. She uses her whole body, the knees, the elbows. She's creative. It's just one of those things where even if you go and grab a round or two, you still got a gal standing in front of you with more world championships than I can even produce for you right now off the top of my head in three different sports, boxing, kickboxing, and mixed martial arts. That's just a hard night out. That's just a hard, gritty, tough night out. Then if you're Amanda, who generally goes out and runs somebody over, and now all of a sudden you find yourself in a fight that's harder than you thought it was going to be, Right, That's the number one thing that causes upsets in any sport. The number one, th it's not game plan and it's not preparate. The number one thing is you get into the competition and you find yourself in a contest that's harder than you thought it was going to be. And that's where things start to unravel and they start to unravel extremely fast. I'm not even predicting for you guys an upset. But I will add a commentary that Holly Holm can most definitely win this fight. This is a three-sport world champion who's going to be in large part, if history is evident of how this fight is going to go, fought in her realm, which is the stand-up. She's going to have to deal with a tornado. Every other girl's had to deal with that same tornado. 